We need really to sit down and understand what is happening and how this whole uh, issue of trafficking is being used by the world really to clamp down on migration of people and especially migration of women. And uh, I think we need to understand that it is what we call a conspiracy, a conspiracy of the uh, of some of the very strong countries in the world who are very worried about people of other countries coming into their countries because uh, of some of their uh, uh, acts, poverty across the world is increasing. And we are of the strong belief that women do not join prostitution unless there is poverty, unless uh, they have no other option unless they have a uh, family to look after. United Nations uh, 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 High Commission for Refugees, they very clearly said that, uh, I mean, the immigration laws of uh, different countries were responsible for more and more pressure on people and also the International Labour Organization, they who con conquered that uh, uh, that uh, misplaced immigration laws were leading to more people being trafficked to uh, other countries in the sense that they were putting in a slightly different way that people had to recourse to traffickers to get them across borders. Uh, so uh, faced with this uh, uh, criticism, the big countries had to devise something else. And then they devised this whole thing called uh, organized crime. <laughs> the media has been extremely, uh, I, would, I would say, uh, media has, to, has walked in very gullibly into this trap. Uh, so today we hear about uh, millions of women being trafficked, there being a seven billion uh, um, uh, industry, uh, sex industry uh, in the world, which survives on trafficking, nothing else. I mean, it's, uh, this is the construct. And every time a woman tries to go from her country to another country, she is going to get into the trafficker's hand and the, she is going to be, all kinds of things are going to happen to her. So. The message seems to be good women stay at home, they don't get out. Then we also realized that there was this whole danger of being sucked into the mainstream anti-trafficking lobby, which meant immigration control, which meant more policing on prostitution, which meant uh, 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 conflating trafficking with prostitution only, forgetting all about what was going on in terms of uh, sweatshop labor, what was going on in terms of uh, uh, agricultural labor in parts of uh, UK itself. I mean, we have found more evidence of uh, agricultural labor being under captivity than women in prostitution being in captivity. I mean, and th 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 these are issues which should, uh, the, uh, which should confront people who make policies, but they're not willing to look at these evidences. Most other parts of the world, they end up in these government-run shelters, mm. which are not short of jails, in the sense that you don't have any freedom there. It's a closed kind of environment where, uh, basically, just because you've been in prostitution, uh, you are a criminal. You are, are morally degraded. The society has to be protected from you. And therefore, uh, you are there, and uh, uh, we will not get allow you to get in touch with people outside because the society will get contaminated by you. And uh, we will uh, try and teach you something with which you can maybe make again that uh, two pounds a day, which is just not enough to uh, look after yourself. Forget about looking after the family. I mean, we always forget that whoever is in a situation like this has a responsibility. Uh, she had been trying to, uh, to to discharge towards her family or her children or something of that kind. We are all the world over 
trying to work more and more through organizations of uh, uh, women in prostitution because uh, we have realized that it is them who, if they wanted, they could, they would be the first to identify a person who's been forced into sex against uh, uh, their wish uh, if they were underage. This will come to their notice first, and if they wanted, they were the first people who could counter this. So, uh, more and more across the world, we are working with uh, organizations of uh, uh, women in prostitution. Already, there is this whole effort to make Europe into Fortress Europe. I mean, and put all this together, and you have a situation where women have no liberty to move. I think it's much more important for us to look at the whole issue of women's mobility than break our heads over trafficking at this moment, break our uh, and uh, and uh, we have to somehow all fight together to see that this whole trafficking discourse around the world is not used to restrict women's mobility. Thank you.